Paul, thank, thank you Morgan. very much for coming back. Uh, last time we were talking, we were talking about how to get ready for the process of going into the jungle and <laughs> facing another round of it's networking. Not a jungle, people want to meet you. You benefit from meeting people. That's and then, my theory. And then I end up with another tree. <laughs> I get these business cards. I, I start the process in the conversation of jotting down notes about the people I'm talking That's to. That's great. And then I come home and I take them out of my bag and um, I, I have the stack of cards. And, um, and, and then I have the other stack of cards <laughs> and then I have, and then I have more cards and, and then, and, and it gets, it gets a little overwhelming. Nope. So I'm I'm kind of looking for what do I do in order not to have them pile up in a stack of useless paper in a box? How do I actually get these so that I can access them where I want them when I want them? Really, I was doing it because it was the tool that I needed. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize until just this past year how many other people needed it. And it's been through working one-on-one -on -one with people, including yourself. I'm so glad to hear that you're jotting notes. I mean, the truth is that there's so much that we experience in life that you could look at this and say, this is abundance, right? <laughs> I know a lot of people. <laughs> the other way to look at it is, you know, there there is a process that helps us to get back into a place of feeling on top of it, right? Mm -hmm. When you have these stacks and stacks and stacks, you're not feeling on top of it. No. Right? It's it's frustrating. You're sitting there I feel there like I'm saying, dropping the ball. Dropping the ball and like there were connections that kind of vaporized because they lost momentum, the conversations, yes. right? Yes. It doesn't have to be that way. But the truth is, it does take a little bit of planning and discipline. Your, yeah. your whole focus, as I understand it, is about how we people mm -hmm learn to change our environment. Mm -hmm. That's that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. So so with that, let me kind of give the three keys that I think of. Okay. One is design and strategy. Okay. Two is after each um, networking event, what do we do to sort of stay on top of this very quickly? Mm -hmm. And then number three is regular follow-up. So outreach. Okay, so let's come back to number one, design and strategy. What is it that you actually want to be able to do with this? One, I want to be able to follow up with the people that I've agreed to follow up with. Okay. And that's a really, really big challenge for me. If I, best of intentions during the conversation, I want to send them a resource that I mentioned to them, I want, or a link, or, a, or connect them with somebody else that right. they might be interested in. And by taking the cards home and not processing them, I'm dropping the ball on that. Second level, I want the information in the database okay. instead of a, a box that I don't have right, organized. Right, right. That's actually one of the things that manifested for me in terms of keeping track of people having this process. I now have over 10,000 people in here that when I'm networking with somebody, you know, I'll say, you know, your name sounds really familiar. We did meet six years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so I feel on top of it, mm -hmm. and I also feel good about the kind of notes that I have. You know what? You were at this particular law firm, and you were talking about maybe getting into the startup world. And it shows that you cared. It, it, it totally shows that you cared. I can see that being an incredible boost to your credibility. Okay. So, so that's the thing where, um, if we're talking about design and strategy, mm -hmm. one is, this is kind of what are your goals? Mm -hmm. I I would say that my goals are that I want to be able to know who I should who I'm uh, teed up to talk with this month. Right. Who who should I keep in touch with? Right. Right. Number two is who um, did I actually want to deliver something to? You talked right. about sending an right. article or something like that. Um, and then number three is to be able to um, have a regular system. Mm -hmm. right? So those are kind of the design pieces and the strategy pieces. One of the great uh, acronyms that I learned a long time ago was GIGO, right? Garbage in, <laughs> garbage out. Yes. If, you, yes. if you throw stuff into a closet, it's going to come back out 
as, disheveled. Yeah. Yes. So so design and strategy as as the first part is all about how do we want it to how do we want to be able to use it? Mm -hmm. Right? Let's if we're gonna design a system, let's think about what we want to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you think about your checkbook, mm -hmm. a lot of people will write a quick check mm -hmm. and then five days later they'll say, Oh my gosh, I wrote four checks. I never wrote it down. Right. I didn't keep track of it. Right. And, let, and if you don't have carbon copies on those checks, it's like, oh my gosh, there's four checks. I have no idea who I wrote them to and what amount. That I would call the post-event work. Yeah. Okay. So you go to a network. I go to a networking event. I block out some time to mm -hmm. um, go through, and I have kind of a two-pass mm -hmm. uh, process because it's a lot of work. It's easy to have these things stack up and stack up and stack up. I know exactly what you're talking about because I've had those stacks of cards. I've had to develop this to figure out how to deal with it. And there are names in there I don't recognize. Yeah, that's so frustrating. And we don't, we don't have pictures of people on our cards most of the time yet. Right, right. So. It'd be nice if people put their pictures on the card. Real yeah, estate agents <laughs> have that right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, so, so every event. Yeah. I've talked about blocking out time to kind of um, write it down, but, or to get it into your database. Right. So here's the thing. You know, scanners very often if you put it into like a little card scan or um, any of the different services OCR software is a great idea you know hasn't quite gotten there yet well the fact that they say 90% accuracy th most of us think that's a great thing the problem is it's not that they get nine out of ten cards right and there's one that's a problem there's a 10% error factor on every single one and so <laughs> it drives me nuts because of how much work it takes to actually get these things in. Yeah. Now someday yeah. we're gonna have, I mean, they're actually, it's amazing how sometimes technology takes a step backward because with the, the old Palm Pilots 10 years ago, you could like uh, beam, beam each other. Yes. Now there is an application on the iPhone that lets you do that. But you, everybody has to have an iPhone and, and already exactly. have the app. Exactly, so. So, so we're talking about something that could work. The, the thing that I've been putting together and, and building is really a system that can be used by somebody even if they don't have a cell phone yes. or if they have a mobile phone that's just kind of very basic yeah. or if they have a smart device yeah. or if they use a computer or a Rolodex, mm -hmm. right? I mean, just like an old-fashioned paper and pen system. This is not tied to any one technology. Okay. So again, in the number two bucket about post-event, almost every day I walk home with a couple of with cards. With a new, a new right. cards, And then yeah. when I go to a chamber luncheon or a uh, industry That's function, the, the handful. Then, I, then I come home with, you know, 20, 30, 50. Right? Yeah, yeah. So those are the things where I feel like, kind of like you can't wait until the end of the month to brush your teeth to catch up for the whole month. Yes. It's like you got to stay up on, stay on top of this. That's a great metaphor. So, it, so it's not one of those things like, oh my God, yet another thing I've got to do. I've got to work out every day. I've got to brush my teeth. I've got to da, 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 da. It's more like if I'm meeting people, and since I personally believe yeah. that the way that things happen now, it has been this way, but it's increasingly so, now we're an interconnected planet. Yes. The things that I get done could not happen unless I were working with somebody else. Yeah. So, so when I'm in a taxi, I'll get to talk to somebody else and say, let me jot down your name and your email and your, your phone number because I might know somebody. I might, tomorrow I might bump into somebody who can help you. There is something that feels great about connecting with yeah. people and saying, look, I pulled this little nugget out. It was meant for you, yes. right? It's kind of like getting a, an envelope in the mail that you know, oh, this wasn't for me. So you say, I'm going to do the right thing and put it out there. Yeah. I love doing that. And Likewise. I think that a lot of other people do yeah. too. Oh, it's, it's extremely just satisfying because if we have this system in place, it's easy. And we're adding enormous value and, and building rapport with the relationship. And, and then we've got an even bigger network of people that we can reach out to. Right, right. You've heard the phrase, a rising tide lifts all boats. Yes. I actually think that that's what this is, right? This is about me being a scout for you. And you know what? When you get into the 10,000 people, it's hard to remember all of them. But that's where the encoding comes in. Yes. Right, that process. Because I actually... When I come upon a neat iPhone app, I can email the you know two hundred people that I know who have an iPhone, in my, and I can say, check this out. I don't have to blast people mm -hmm. who, who who I don't know whether they have an iPhone. Right. This is all about targeting. Right? Targeting. I yes. can I can peop I can uh, tap people of a particular you know political 
persuasion or people who are enthusiasts about motorcycles, all those kind of things. And it's about being able to find a needle in the haystack. Yeah. I, I am sure that there are times when you meet somebody who you say, gosh, I know somebody you should meet. Yes. And then you can't find that person. That drives me nuts. But with a system, mm -hmm. we can do a keyword search. Now, mm -hmm. this isn't this particular tool is not so good for a keyword search mm -hmm. because you can't search the notes. Okay. But, but this again, this is not platform specific. So, so we can do a search on whether you're using Outlook, whether you're using Google Contacts, whatever it is. Okay. It's almost like the daily networking, you know, Tooth close brushing. out the day exactly. <laughs> and then, and then there's the number three. Okay. Big bucket, which is the outreach part, because just because we planned it, mm -hmm. and just because we, you know, put it in here um, with a kind of quick note to say, hey, it was great to meet you, and you know, mm -hmm. I'm glad we talked about your school board functions, and I'll keep in mind, you know, if I ever think about somebody who has, you know, wooden playground equipment or something like that, right? But that is not, that's not the full spectrum of what you're talking about. Right. What you want, and what I believe, is that we are so bombarded with information today. Yes. I could know about somebody, and if I haven't thought about them in a year, it's virtually gone from my memory. Yeah. So it's called TOMA, Top of Mind Awareness. Okay. I think that every time I've sent out a little monthly um, newsletter on, on what the you know, consulting and professional activities are mm -hmm. of Paul Aaron Travis, the thing that comes back is somebody who says, I've been meaning to, to check to out talk you. To you. Yeah. Or other people say, "I'm glad you. I'm glad your your uh, communications are so humorous. Please keep sending them." And so that builds. I have high toma in their mind, right? Excellent. The other thing is that people will often say, "You know, something you said made me think of this. Can I get your help on this?" Yes. Which, which, frankly, we all love to be to know that we're our, our services are valued. But the other piece is that it's not just about me; it's helping them. Yeah. Right, so it's okay. So, yeah. Yeah. so with that, I hope that that is kind of a new way of framing the overwhelm. So, to recap, can you go back over the three? Absolutely. So, the first one has to do with design and strategy. What do you want to get out of it? Number two has to do with on an everyday or post event basis. When something happens, take care of it before it stacks up. And then, number three is regular follow up, so outreach. Some people want to do it every two weeks, some people want to do it every week, some people want to do it once a month. It's all good, and the system that I've got actually supports that. Paul, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure again. Great seeing you And again. I'll look forward to talking again soon. Thanks for having me over. Hopefully the next time we'll continue even further on this.